Hello, this is Russell, or AK Snyder, and this is my review of the Samsung S10e. Um, one thing that I would like to note is that this is about a year old. I love the fingerprint scanner. And let me pause my screen. And I may have noticed I just turned it on, but it, it, it's dead. They don't have a carrier in it, but it thinks it has a carrier. But that's one thing that I don't um, like about this phone is that the battery doesn't last very long. Uh, granted, it is 2022 and this came out in 2018, but um, it has two cameras in the front, one camera in the back. It does have um, headphone jacks, so that's one thing I like. Uh, the sound quality is pretty good. I don't think I have enough juice to, to give you a sound quality, but... Um, Phone quality is good. It has a nice air piece. I don't know if you can see that right there. And a bottom piece right here. And of course, the headphone jack. It's good for talking on the phone. But yeah, that's the microphone. And then that one's the speaker. It's a good phone. If you're looking for a cheap phone, I bought this on eBay for $259. It was used. Uh, it was gently used. It was a Sprint phone, but unlocked. Um, but I used it on AT&T. It works fine on AT&T. And our carrier, GCI, but does not work on Verizon. So I was going to... I was thinking to put my uh, a visible SIM card in it, but um, it doesn't want to use whatever band that they transmit on. So that's a bummer. So I can only use this on AT&T or GCI. The phone battery doesn't last all day. It lasts about eight hours. Uh, and the screen's uh, fairly small. It's about the same size as my um, iPhone. So this is the LG Velvet behind it. And this is the S10. So it's about three-fourths of the size of the L LG Velvet. It has a side fingerprint scanner that works 100% of the time. Um, it's also the power button. So, it, well, when I say it works 100% of the time, of course it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's try this one. Let's try this hand. Oh, oh, it's because I just turned it on. Oh yeah, it's because I just turned it on that needs my fingerprint, I mean, my uh, pattern. Um, screen quality is pretty good. Call quality is pretty good. Signal strength is pretty good. Um, let's see We look for a video. Oh, no. It died. So, that's my review of the S10e. It's a good phone, burner phone, or a backup phone, or a good phone for a kid. They can play their games. It has 128 gigabytes and 2 gigabytes of RAM, or 3 gigabytes of RAM, sorry. And it's pretty fast. So it's a good phone for a kid um, or a senior citizen that just wants to Facebook uh, or read. It's a pretty good phone, but it's kind of light. Uh, but like I said, the battery only lasts about eight hours. And yeah, so it has a SIM card tray. You can have a uh, one SIM and a data card, so that's pretty good. Volume's pretty good. I have a case for it. And video quality is all right on recording and 
pictures are all right. Low light's not so good, but that's my review of the S10E. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.